So guys, we are 10 days before we fly to World Strongest Man. This is going to be our final like, conditioning event sessions. We've got loading, shield carry, conans and some sandbag toss. So this will be the final uh, event session of that. Um, we're doing one set of everything. We've got four, four loaded implements. We've got the sled to push back, 200 kilo, 200 kilo shield, 200 kilo conans, sandbags. So enjoy the last session before we went to work. Oh. I've been a bit sick this week, so uh, this week's just about getting it done. Not overly sick, I say I've been sick, I've got a cold, so it's nothing major. So usually what I find once I start kind of getting warmed up, getting my heart rate going, things feel a lot better. So what way to get the heart rate up and do a big loading event to start off with. It looks uh, got a bit run down. You always get that when you're like a week and a half out on a comp. But all weeks, every week, I'm getting fitter. Cause I think this is a bit longer than I was going to be at Worlds, and it's going to be the first event at Worlds, and um, getting me more psyched up. So well, this is uh, the hardest day for me to get motivated. Was about getting it done. It right, looks heaven. That's what we're doing. So. Speed-wise, I think it was quite good. It's just uh, I've got a bit of a like a rasp, raspy cough, so it's harder to get like big breaths in at the moment. So it's not bad. That was probably the quickest. You know, been in this training prep, so it's nice. Um, four implements plus the the push at the end, so I feel really comfortable.
I've been on the Tommy Fat since like, where's my phone? So, there was a discussion in the office today that if I was to die, what thing could someone get off me off? I'm a bigger guy. And I said my teeth, because Tommy Fat's teeth are the first things to go or evaporate when you die. Yeah, how was that for you, Tom? Yeah, um, you know, actually, my brother's, brother's very, very smart because he said two weeks ago, let's add in Husserl stone after deadlifting. And I didn't think of that. Dan didn't think of that. And I was like, very smart move because Husserl is really hard. It's harder than the shield as well because in giant shield and stuff, you can get your arms right around it. So, yeah, 200. It's the easiest it's felt, which is a bonus. But big thanks to my brother, Luke Stoltman, for helping us with extra Husserl stone training. Shout out to you both. So funny, right? Yeah, it's me, it's Coach Short here. I got on camera. Oh, Tom felt okay. Tom felt a little bit lighter after, so it was good. So we've got this kettlebells at World, so uh, we've used them before. I've used them. The kettlebells for fights, so no, I felt okay. Felt quite snappy. That was, I think that's a 24 kilo bag that we're throwing there, so yeah. it's still a reasonably heavy bag to be throwing. You know, half to Arnold's, I had to, you know, get my head screwed on, I think. Right now, the last few worlds, I, f I feel like I've been like, on the events and so I still had some weaknesses. Um, for example, you know, when I seen Dumbbell in this final this world, I was kind of like to look 
has to be battered because dumbbells known as my weakest event and it's bad but I've been training hard and now it's one of my best ones every event that I've been training for Worlds is really good everything feels good which is a shot for myself my most impressive thing for myself is the pressing I think the pressing obviously looks known for pressing but pressing for myself I've been really hammering that we've been kind of adding stuff in ourselves and yeah training's going really good mentally and physically in a good place obviously like I said the last six days are going to be hard just to keep you know mentally focused and just know that we've done the job and go out there but once this week's done once the last training session's done it's a relief and it's just trying to focus mentally and get our, ourselves mentally ready not physically mentally ready as long as we can stay mentally ready from now to the 19th of uh, April we'll be in a good place we've got currently there after the session we have two sessions left we have a deadlift session tomorrow on the car deadlift frame and then a big events day on Friday and then that's us finished the main events we have a deal with, couple of deal sessions and then we fly out to Worlds so yeah feeling feeling good this session was like probably last year I would have like not come in and trained today um, just feeling not so good but feeling so much better now um, managed to do stuff the loading was fine the shield was fine Conan's was fine bad cross was fine so for me that's that's a win today so I'm really happy um, yeah feeling really good as Tom says you know the the pressing stuff he's looking really good I'm feeling really good we're hitting numbers like on the dumbbell press we're hitting 130 kilos which we haven't done before I look at like the heat events they're really good the final events are good as well um, but for me if if uh, if Tom comes in 100% then yeah when Tom comes in sorry. sorry when Tom comes in 100% um, yeah as much as I would love to say I could beat that bunker sitting next to me um, no one in the world can beat Tom when he's he's on point like he is at the moment so um, yeah you'll see a different Tom, you'll see a different me and you saw uh, Arnold's, we're coming in a lot more conditioned, we've put in a lot of work um, and this is the biggest title in the world, isn't it? World's strongest man so that's the, the motivation. that's all she wrote, guys, World's strongest man quick shout out to everyone visiting www.stopenbrothers.com and buying our merchandise, it means so much to us, it allows us to do what we love and we love that you show us support so thank you so much if you want anything please go and check the website and your support is always very much appreciated thank you guys for watching stay safe smile and stay spicy and please don't forget to ring the little bell guys so today i'm going to walk you through the walk press hey guys this is week one of the atlas stone tutorial by tom stoneman right guys today's tutorial is 